is live. Stream is live. All right. So let's try this again for the second time. Uh, how's everybody doing? It's Alex R on Fight Games. Uh, I'm going to try this one more time. I, I, I completely flubbed the recording uh, in the previous uh, attempt. So we're going to start this over from scratch, but now I've had a warm up. So we're ready to talk about Lucky Chloe. Um, so what's the deal with Lucky Chloe? Um, I was recently uh, trying to learn Lucky Chloe um, for the reason that she was my lowest ranked character out of all my characters. So, you know, I've been kind of making my way up through the ranks. Um, all my characters got promoted, except Lucky Chloe. Lucky Chloe was stuck because like a while ago she got demoted and she was like many, many dons lower than the rest of my characters. So I thought to myself, what is Lucky Chloe? What, what makes her good? What makes her strong? Uh, so I thought I would, you know, learn about it. Um, I would try to get her to Mighty Ruler, which I realize is not like a super high rank, um, but that's kind of my benchmark for like, if I can get a character to Mighty Ruler, I feel like I like kind of understand what they're about. Um, so let me share with you, the viewer, uh, what I learned about Lucky Chloe, like what makes her good, uh, why you would want to play her, how to go from I don't know Lucky Chloe to I have a somewhat passable Chloe. So let's let's do this. And critically, let me make my face much smaller. Uh, if you're viewing right now live on Twitch, please ask questions uh, for clarification or, or whatever. So what's the deal with Chloe? Uh, also, how's the audio? Do I sound okay? I assume I sound okay. I sounded okay earlier. All right, so what's the deal with Chloe? Uh, Chloe has got um, a lot of little rhythm games built into her, and it's really adorable. And uh, I think it's kind of, it's like a nice like game design touch that they put like rhythm games into the dancer. She's like a J-pop idol, and she likes to dance, so you as the player get to play little rhythm games uh, while you're playing with her, and that's, that's fun. That manifests like she's got some, maybe not like frame exact just frames, but she's got some interestingly difficult execution things, um, and they keep adding more over time. So like in season three, she got a new one, um, uh, which is 2-2 as a just frame. So she had 2-2, which you can just bash. That's her 12 frame punish. But if you get it just right, like that, which I'll try to do for the camera. There we go. Then that's guaranteed. Um, you get a knockdown that wall splats. Um, I don't have that one like completely in my fingers, but that one's uh, that one's kind of fun. So they just added that. So she's got lots of little rhythm games. Uh, her Rage Art is a rhythm game. Uh, her uh, Down Forward 2 or While Standing 2, which are the same move. So this is Down Forward 2, but it's also While Standing 2. Um, those have uh, just frame extension. So that's like a little rhythm game. Uh, she's got this, you know, um, you know, she kind of like dances a lot. So what makes Chloe good? That's not what makes Chloe good. Let me tell you about what makes Chloe good. Chloe has got really, really good jab strings. So she's got one, two, um, which, you know, most characters have a one, two, but hers is high mid, super good. So if they were ducking, if they happen to be ducking underneath your one, then the two will catch them, right? Natural combo. So that's good on its own. What's better is that she's got extensions. And the extensions are uh, kind of the, the basic one that you usually want to be doing is like one, two, one plus two, which looks like this. And uh, so that's um, high mid high and tracking and safe. It's not a natural combo, but it is safe. And if they block the first hit of the spin, the rest of the hit of it jails. Hey, Brute Slayer. How you doing? Um, so that's really good, right? If it happens to counter hit, then that'll screw, right? And that's that's pretty good. You get a follow up. Uh, so that's good. It kind of incentivizes them to try to duck. If they think you're going to do one two one plus two, then they're going to try to duck that high. Uh, so what do you do for that? Well, you've got mid follow ups. You've got two mid follow ups, in fact. The one that I like the most, this is the one I used mostly during my uh, time playing Chloe, 
was one, two, two. This is also not a natural combo, but uh, it's a mid and it's safe and it leaves you in crouch. So if it hits, well, on counter hit it'll knock down. Uh, so if it hits on its own, then you're at plus four in their face and crouching. And she's got some pretty good uh, full crouch mix ups, which we'll talk about uh, later. Uh, and then the other option, the, the, the only downside for this 1 2 2 is that it's steppable. So if you think that they're gonna like really rapidly sidestep duck, so, so that'll catch just people who step. But if you like really wanna stick it to somebody who's gonna step, then that'll catch them. That's 1 2 1. And uh, that uh, that also is a wall bounce. So that's really good. Her jab strings are super, super good. I would use this one a lot. Um, nobody was able to duck, uh, was able to step this in red ranks um, while I was playing Chloe. And you are, if they block it, you're at minus four in crouch in their face. Um, but people usually aren't ready to like stuff her with a. Uh, you know, a quick down forward one or like a down forward four if they've got like one of those. Um, that would be the best option to beat this. But if they don't know, <clears throat> then you are in their face uh, and you're crouching and she's got really good full crouch mix ups. The other thing she's got that's super good um, from like a generic tools perspective is her down forward one. Her down forward one is really, really good. Um, so as you can see, it's 13 frames and it's minus one. So you can do like whatever you want after that, right? You can step, you know, you, it's it's a really good time to, to sidestep if you're just at minus one. Um, you could throw out more attacks, right? You could do down forward one, to, you know, jab. Um, they could beat your jab if they jab, but you know, they don't know if you're gonna step, they don't know what you're gonna do. You could do anything. Uh, she does not have a follow up after her down forward one. Uh, you know, characters like um, Heihachi or Leroy have a, have a down forward one with a follow up. Um, but otherwise, it's super good, right? This is like almost as good as, say, Kazumi's. It's got a pretty good range, you know, it's only minus one. It's a, it's a really solid down forward one. Um, she's got pretty good homing moves, so she's got back three, um, which can go back turn, which is really good. Um, it is uh, punishable if they block it, but first they have to block it. Uh, it's minus 11 or minus eight if you go into back turn, but then you're back turned. Maybe they could, you know, stuff out your back turn mix up. Um, her lows aren't like super great, but you gotta use them to set up your offense, right? You gotta entice people to duck. So she's got a down, generic down four, which is pretty good. She's got down three, which is fast. Right, and it does some damage, right? Uh, but it's... Oh, sorry. That wasn't what I meant. Like that, right? It's minus 17, so you could get launched for that. Nobody's gonna see it, though. Uh, so they can only block it if you're being predictable, or if they just guess duck. But, if they're guess ducking, that's great. Uh, so she's got down four, uh, down back four, which sets up scoot stance. So you can do that, that scoot stance. Um, and her really, really good low is sidestep four. This is super good because it comes out of sidestep, right? Uh, and you get frame advantage, and it goes back turned. It always goes back turned. Um, and if it counter hits, you get a huge combo, like ridiculously big. Uh, we'll show that in a minute. Um, but just know this is a launcher and counter hit. Yeah, so that's good. Oh, and down forward four. I found myself using this one like more and more um, uh, as I was playing more Chloe. Um, this, you can kind of think of it, it's like Anna's down forward four. It's a little bit slower, um, but look at that huge frame advantage, right? And, she, and it forces crouch on hit and it hops. So it's gonna crush lows. Um, that's pretty good. Um, so that's on the slow side. If they know the animation, they could block it. 25 frames, right? Probably seeable, but it's only minus 12 if they do happen to block it. 
Um, so the best thing, somebody could low parry it, I guess. Uh, you've got trouble if you're facing somebody who's ready to low parry that on reaction. Uh, okay, okay, so what else does Chloe have that's really good? Um, this is super good. This is back one plus two, which is distinct from... This is one plus two, right? And this is one two, one plus two. Those are homing and high and safe, but back one plus two is um, a homing uh, power crush that's safe. And that's really good, right? Does it do anything on counter hit? No, it just knocks down. Um, but this is super good because it's homing and it's safe. Um, and if somebody has like some, you know, evasive sidestepy move, this will catch that. It's really, really useful for that. Um, I was facing a Paul who would do, um, at round start, he would often do like um, the sidestep shoulder that Pauls like to do. And this would just beat that every time. So that's a pretty good move. Note that the other ones don't power crash, right? The, the animation looks really similar. There's kind of a white flash, but back one plus two, that's the power crush. It's a good power crush. Um, okay, so she's got pretty good homing moves. Like that, and like that, and like that. Those are all good homing moves. Um, her lows aren't super great. She doesn't have like a really, really good power low. Uh, except for she's got a Hell Suite. They just added this. So this is a uh, while running three plus four. Um, that's launch punishable on block. Um, it's like a Hell Sweep and it only comes out of running. Um, so if you're good at instant while running, then you've got a Hell Sweep. If you're not good at instant while running, you've got a telegraphed knockdown low. Oh, and the other really good while running move she has, this is super good. Her running three is, is quality. Um, so if you've got instant while running down, like, those two moves are, are, are super good. Um, this does not hit, like, completely grounded, but it hits many, like, wake-up options, so it's good. Uh, it's just good. Um, and you get big plus frames on block. So let's see if we can uh, just make her block this. Great, plus six. That's quality. Oh, um, when you've got plus frames, uh, back four is good. So that's a fast um, counter hit. Uh, counter hit launcher. Back four, right? That's really good. And the combo off that is easy. Uh, yeah. So that's what's good about Chloe. Oh, and her throw game? Throw game is bad. Um, she only has one command grab. It's this, which is adorable. Uh, it does no damage, but what it did gives you is their back. And m as my understanding, I think the most damage guaranteed thing you get is this. I think you get down forward 3-3. Three, three. I wonder if that's... That's not guaranteed, is it? Anyway, down forward 3-3 three, three is guaranteed. Uh, completely guaranteed if you uh, manage to throw them with this. Uh, okay, so what else is good about Chloe? She has got her back turn stance. And her back turn is really, really dangerous. This is probably what you think of when you think of Chloe. So she's got um, this roll, and out of her roll she's got uh, that. So what does this do? She can optionally complete the string, which looks like this, which does not look like this, it looks like this. Um, and that's like a huge damage launcher, right? You get a really, really enormous combo. The easy one is like this. Um, which is absurd, right? That's like 89 damage off a super easy combo. Uh, let's see if I can do the hard one. The hard one requires one of her just frames, which is this. So, look, that's so much damage, right? Almost, almost, almost. Second try. So I think there's, that's not even like super optimized, right? 
but that's 103 damage off of a normal launcher. So what did I do there? I did back three plus four, three plus four, three plus four from back turned into down forward four, down forward two, four, three, one, this move. Uh, into uh, the combo ender that I always use. Let's see if we can do it again. I flubbed it. Hundred and three damage. That combo is not hard, right? So, what are the drawbacks of this? So, if they block it, it's safe. Um, if they're ready, though, they can step that last hit on block. So what do you do to get around the fact that they, they could, in principle, step that last kick? Uh, you've got a low mix-up out of back turn. You could just do down three plus four. That is theoretically seeable, and it's punishable if they block it. Um, you could do other things. You know, she's got a bunch of moves out of back turn. Uh, you just do jab strings. Um, I don't think she can do her power crush out of back turn. That would be too good. But you can just keep rolling, right? You could roll several times first. Get them to flinch. And then... That's the easy combo. 89 damage, right? That's messed up. So her back turned pretty threatening. And I think that's what a lot of people, you know, think about when they think of Chloe is that, that Cali roll. So if you're worried about Chloe, I think the number one thing you can do in this matchup is... Learn to step the last hit of, of that, right? Step and punish her. You know, and then some characters have like a good option select where even if she does this, uh, without doing the last kick, they can still float her. Um, like Josie, for example, has a really easy one. Um, so look at the options for your character if you're, if you're worried about Chloe. Uh, all right, so I guess the one other thing I wanna show is um, the counter hit combo. That's not it. <laughs> so say this counter hits. Ba, 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 ba. So that's that's pretty good, right? Uh, off a counter hit low. And that high crushes, you know. So that's basically everything that I used uh, to get Chloe from, you know, orange ranks to purple ranks. Um, and I, I feel like that's enough to get you started, hopefully, if you're uh, interested in like learning about Chloe, at least enough to like defend against Chloe. Um, so I just want to show you. Uh, let's see if we can do her rage art. Actually, we'll, we'll see if I can get the get the just frame. So the deal with her rage art, I'm just try this like once or twice. Her rage art is a low. This is unique, like completely unique in Tekken Seven. It's the only rage art that's a low. Um, and it high crushes. Uh, and there's a rhythm game, so it's like kind of unusual. So let's see if I can get the uh, get the rhythm game to work. So she spells out her name. You press uh, three, but three plus four works too. Uh, and if you spell out her name, you get extra damage. So let's try this. Ah, uh, I flubbed it. Okay, okay, let's try it again. Try it again. No? <laughs> Terrible. Okay, okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Oh, yeah! The champion. Right? Right? True Tekken God. Alright. Um, anyway, so you get more damage if you do the rhythm game right. You just, you press, press three in time with her saying, uh, saying the letters of her name. So, uh, right now, I'm just gonna show you, uh, real quick, just a couple of matches, and I'll commentate them. Uh, these were like, uh, just matches that I played, uh, with Chloe, you know, on the tail end of my getting through code ranks with her. So I'll just talk about like what I'm doing, like why I did it. Uh, 
yeah, I'll just show two and then, then we'll be done. So I do appreciate uh, the one viewer that we've got right now. Uh, Brute Slayer, how you doing? Um, getting the download on my thought process on Chloe. So if you face my Chloe, you'll, you'll be good. So here I'm fighting a Brian. I've got this witch costume. I feel like the witch costume is really good, right? So there I use the power crush. Um, there's running three for pressure. I did um, running three into back four. Uh, trying to get... See, I'm doing it again. So th they, I think they tried to step. I'm like really abusing... Um... Oh yeah. So that wall breaks apparently her house sweep, which is pretty cool. So I'm just doing, uh, there's the down forward four. Hell sweep, he blocks it, but no punish. But then I eat a counter hit back one. Set up the, oh my goodness. Yeah, okay, I do the easy combo here. And I drop it for some reason. Terrible. So he does not, uh, that's the minus 15 hop kick. He didn't punish it at all. Oh, I eat the second hit of the, uh... So... Here I flub the, uh, the Rage Art. But then Hell Sweep, and we're good, right? So you see, I, I failed the rhythm game there. So this player showed me, um, I think at this point I had kind of like realized that they weren't going to be able to step um, the Cali roll kick. There's the throw. That, that's guaranteed, right? Good step, right? Oh, not in the back. I think that's all guaranteed if Brian gets her back, right? Oh, I didn't talk about that move. Um, that's pretty good. That's a forward one plus two. It's plus if they block it. Uh, yeah, so that move is pretty good. That move is pretty good. So yeah, I, in that match, I, I don't think I did anything that um, that I didn't talk about, uh, except for the forward one plus two. And then here is the uh, last match I want to show you, um, and then we'll end this video. This is against that same Brian player. Just see a few more things uh, in application. So this was my promo match for uh, uh, to get Mighty Ruler. It's so funny, right? Like having Mighty Ruler as like your benchmark. It's like for like very actual good Tekken players. That's really kind of a laughable rank but for like a, like people who are new it seems like unattainable oh that's her forward three also uh, so side step forward counter hit oh 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 that's her wall combo um you can get a when you get a wall splat the really easy like guaranteed wall combo is a uh, down forward one three four her three four launches if the second hit happens to hit, but it's not, uh, that was a really good punish. Um, you'll notice there he launched, um, uh, that low kick. So I went, I went for the back turn down three plus four. Ooh, clipped with orbital. That's dead, right? Yeah. Woo! I just caught, 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 got caught moving there. Hell sweep, second hit doesn't hit. <laughs> Go for another hell sweep, because why not? Wow, he went for a taunt back four. So I, I, uh, I went into crouch there. Ooh. 
Plus frames. Oh, he's, he's not punishing the, uh, the forward three. Counter hit. Easy combo, right? Yeah. Oh, I wanted the wall carry, huh? He's just really not ready to step the, uh... Step the last kick. That's not safe. Good break. Good break. So I, I, I want to pause the lasagna for a second here. Um, that played out uh, because earlier in this set, um, I had shown this player 1-2-2 um, two, two into a low poke. Um, so at that moment I showed him, I was like, okay, you can't you can't just always block low after 1-2-2 two, because two, I did while standing 4 to, uh, to show that. Just establishing that mix up, right? So I did 1-2-2 two, two into backdash into power crash. Again. There we go, there's the low. So this this uh this mix up keeps playing out, right? Flip the orbital. Two two into and there he flinched or went for the you know, tried to block low. So got a lot of mileage out of that uh, full crouch mix up, um out of power crashes, um just real basic pokes, sidesteps, um learning that this particular player was not ready to um, uh, to step the last hit of the Cali roll, uh, the Rue Kick. Um, yeah, so I hope this helps somebody. Um, thanks for watching, if you're watching this live. Uh, and I will, uh, when I post this, I will link some uh, good Lucky Chloe tutorials that um, uh, go along with um, what I've been reading about the character. So I, I, I hope... Uh, this like demystifies what Chloe's about. Um, and thank you for watching. So this has been Alex R on Fight Games and I will see y'all next time.